my babies my soul sisters and misters how are we that's funny i'm gonna say that more anyway hi we are in the last week of december of 2022 does that make sense to anyone else time's an illusion let's keep going but really, it's really crazy. I'm really excited, you guys. Listen, I know I told you guys I was going to put out so much more content for my channel. And then I got sicky. Okay, so bear with me. There's purpose. This reading is going to be a little bit different from the other weeklies that I do. It is still for whoever finds it, finds it. Okay, all that good stuff. But it's very specific. It really is going to be centered around our shadow work our inner healing um we're gonna do almost like a what was the lesson of 2022 what do we still have to close up in this last week okay um and how we can go into 2023 with our best selves not bringing in that karma juice okay of lessons that we didn't that's too much <laughs> of lessons that we didn't complete earlier okay so you guys i would really appreciate it if you would help me out and throw me a like throw me some comments leave your feedback i love it okay i can take constructive feedback i'm not afraid okay but i like nice feedback too okay share subscribe i appreciate you all tremendously okay i hope you're having a happy safe holiday and let's see what's happening the 18th could be important to you in general also uh january 8th okay or the number nine all right we are looking at the creatrix what does this mean we'll find out it'll be great <laughs> your soul is a divine creative fire she wants you to break free from what has been and give life to something new you may experience this as feelings of restlessness of being confined or as a craving for something more than you cannot quite articulate your soul doesn't want you to push the new life away she wants you to embrace it when you let go your inhibitions and freely express yourself stagnant situations will be cleared out by the powerful release of your energy which creates openness let your inner artist play out in whichever way feels fun raw and honest for you it's time for you to experience something new you have the need and the ability for creative self-expression whether it's your look your room your art your altar your journal or your life you need to be free to let this inspiration within find a way to take shape into the world some ideas will come together beautifully straight away and some will need to be revised or released completely until you feel satisfied by the expression your creativity is most powerful and healing when it is true it's not about someone else getting it or teaching some imaginary standard of perfection or making a million dollars the universe has a beautiful plan for your life when we honestly and creatively express ourselves we are playing with the universe and help that beautiful plan to unfold some people won't understand the creative process, the importance of working from inner timing rather than external deadlines, or learning to be comfortable in the mess of possibilities before the inspired idea reveals itself to you. They may question your sanity or tell you that you aren't living in the real world. You know that the world created from our hearts is more valuable, beautiful, and real than any world created from fear. Creativity is such a gift. It is worth the price of being different and not always being understood. You are an inspiration. Don't hide your creative fire away. Let it burn bright and light up the world. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious. So it looks like we still need to get in touch with our self-expression, okay? Allowing ourselves. You know, I just got this uh, message about self-care, right? So perhaps it's about really um, bringing in that creative energy to give ourselves like that final missing layer okay of how we can connect with ourselves i get asked all the time how can i connect with my inner child right how can i connect and give myself the nurture we need do things that make you feel okay whole pure okay maybe that is painting okay it's scrapbooking right um i used to make journals where i would write like my favorite spiritual quotes right or things about mindfulness just things i was interested in get to know yourself okay let's see oh yeah look at this we're holding back from self-love thank you ace of cups thank you 
<laughs> the challenge is really filling our cup. That's what it's about, okay? And it's not about, you know, self-care bath bombs, right? Or a spa day. Those things are wonderful, but they're bonus, okay? This is your everyday stuff, right? It was talking about journaling, okay? Gratitude journaling. Maybe that's yoga, morning stretching, breathing exercises, okay? Those are a few things that I like to partake in to really ground myself, center myself, and make sure I'm coming from my best self, okay? I've been talking to a lot of clients about how being selfish is the most selfless thing you can do, okay? It allows us to show up for the people that we love. Speaking of, that's the energy we're moving into 2023 with. So, good job, collective. Let's take a look here, my babies. It looks like there's some type of forgiveness, drama, like it could be... Um, Forgiveness is for you type of an energy, realizing that you and somebody else no longer align or you and a certain path no longer align. More trouble than it's worth, an outdated version of you. We'll see, okay? Let's take a look into what you are really like either defensive of or holding back from, okay? With that four of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Oh, happy birthday to my Capricorns. It's a season of miracles. The moon in the reverse. Oh, Pisces energy. The star. I just pulled the moon in the star. Hmm. Going out with a bang here. And justice in the reverse. Of course, this is clarified by three major arcanas. Why wouldn't we? It's about your breakthrough, though. You know that you watering yourself down. Okay, dimming your light being agreeable okay um sitting in the passenger seat that was never meant for you this is really really big energy you have a large purpose to step into here i'm actually going to go another layer into this because it's like you know this this isn't a surprise okay but there could be some people around you or again i don't know i'm even getting like a little bit of devil energy with like toxic people places things thinking patterns behaviors okay um that could be holding you back okay yeah it's like it's this feeling of I know things aren't fair, but I don't know where to go from here. And you may be stunting your growth by not even trying, okay? It's like I have no point of reference. I've never done this before. Four of cups, ten of cups. Mm -hmm. What does happiness look like to me? I know that this isn't it, okay? This could be talking about love, absolutely, okay? I know that I have settled in the past. I know some of you might be getting divorced with that justice in the reverse for sure. But you're coming to terms with this was all part of the plan. This was a stepping stone in your journey. Sorry, I'm just getting that. It's like this wasn't the type of love that I wanted. You have something deeper to give, okay? I think that actually is going to resonate for a lot of you. Otherwise, this is stepping away from where you thought you were going to retire, right? And your career. Like you may have thought that you were going to stay with the business forever. Three of Swords is popping out. There's definitely, it's like some hurt letting this go. It's grief, it's acceptance, but it's also remembering there is a divine plan, okay? The universe, the divine God, spirit, they know exactly what they're doing, okay? Let's talk about your challenge of that self-love. I just saw the Two of Cups trying to show itself. Mm -hmm. You cannot move in to a Two of Cups with half a cup, okay? You can't walk around. I said this in a video asking more for people to pour into your cup okay you also can't walk around with this overflowing cup hoping to pour into the empty ones okay it's two full cups coming together two independent people coming together and right now you have some work to do and that's okay all right again really nurture yourself this may be um going to therapy Okay, some type of support group. Maybe it's just seeing your friends, socializing, especially if you've been a home buddy or shutting people out. Strength card, Leo energy. Looking at why you haven't been nurturing yourself to begin with. I think this is socializing for a lot of you, to be honest. Okay. Or perhaps it's 
dating before you're ready that could be a lot of it for a lot of you tell me more there's like some inspiration that wants to come some type of spark whether that's um again hobbies through your creativity like your oracle was talking about uh getting out there again in the dating world this can yes ten of cups in the reverse the sun. I'm telling you, whatever it was that you walked away from, okay, maybe it was a family member that wasn't healthy for you, okay? It's like that is sad, but you're breaking a generational cycle here would be what that says, okay? Same thing again with um, a divorce or a separation with your person. It's like this was a stepping stone to bring you closer to your truth, your true happiness, okay? Forgive yourself and possibly the other person, okay? You're both moving into your new chapter It's kind of what I'm getting there actually and that is what's left to do okay this last week leave it all behind <laughs> isn't that symbolic right with moving into a new year but that's exactly what this card is talking about the five of wands in the reverse no longer arguing it's like it's an energy of who can have the last word or like i don't know maybe obsessing okay tell me more it's like let it go release it Re yeah this is what you're holding on to this was your uh energy sh showing up Scorpio energy with the death card. It's done. It's over. I am seeing some of you could have lost somebody this year too. Maybe you guys didn't make peace, okay, before they left. It's understanding that in their soul, like, it's all good. They want to help you grow. They want you to find that forgiveness. Wow, that is definitely possibly a message for somebody, okay. I love that when we first pulled your energy with the four of pentacles on what you were holding back from, it came up as three major arcanas, major soul lessons. When we look at your focus and it's about that forgiveness and releasing, it's again clarified by three major arcanas. Okay, this is really intense energy, my loves. Capricorn energy, okay, it is Capricorn season with the devil, the hangman in the reverse with Pisces. Okay, a new perspective on why this had to end understanding it was a toxic habit um so if you were fighting with like a toxic family member okay or an ex um it's like this person isn't healthy right you can only meet someone as deeply as they've met themselves right we don't know what we don't know okay and there so there might be like a frequency difference between this and it's like someone has to step away right Otherwise, it's going to continue. We're going to go around in circles. There will always be another reason to be triggered or angry, okay? And you could have really lost yourself in the past here, okay? Your stability. But yeah, I'm getting either like toxic family environment, work environment, and completing rele completely releasing this. All right. Can I just get, yeah, I think I need to do one more layer with this. It's just too much intense energy. This is loud to you guys. Like the universe is going to make this so loud that you can't possibly ignore this, okay? And then they're going to try to trigger you. This person, okay, or situation is going to keep popping up or you're going to notice it's the same uh, frequency energy in multiple areas of your life where it's like literally just vibrate higher, right? Take care of yourself. Again, meditations, right? Um, self-care ten of wands in the reverse let the burden go it's not yours to carry anymore we spirits actually saying you let this go or this was moved on from or released from your life a while ago so it's just that like residual leftovers all right yeah the world in the reverse it's just accepting that the cycle is over really breaking it once and for all like it may be removed from your 3d right just like i was talking about somebody passively possibly passing away they're not here in our 3d but something still exists in the 5d same energy okay oh dear yep it's time to move on oh my gosh yeah it's like my happiness wasn't here this wasn't my end all be all be okay with that be excited about that you get to discover yourself your soul connect with yourself remember again through creativity and it's like find that passion find that spark okay 2023 has a lot to do with um again no longer coming from ego your oracle was saying that right it's not about making a million dollars or whatever it's about feeling fulfilled and connected okay tell me about your strength position you know that you lost someone or excuse me actually somebody really might have lost someone i was gonna say you know that you lost yourself in someone or something 
but yeah you see something clearly and I just thought of that quote where it was like I allowed someone to bring out my crazy side and it's like I decided never again would I give someone that power over me that's coming up as your strength energy acceptance yeah again this isn't it this wasn't it it could have been love you guys the two of cups is coming forward okay someone that you thought was going to be your rock somehow became toxic for you like they were supposed to carry you or save you spirit is kind of like you have two feet of your own mm -hmm. it's just that's the same energy you guys were showing up in like but how i don't have a point of reference okay the energy coming towards you before we enter the new year somebody with a hurt ego maybe this is your hurt ego it's again really looking at what didn't work okay but i do see this as an incoming energy it could be a fire sign for some of you okay aries leo sag some of you may have water in your chart as well it doesn't really matter i just like to point it out yeah someone here okay Oh, they want to talk to you, but they don't want to apologize. They want you to take all, like, the responsibility. Yeah, no more watering yourself down, collective. Mm -mm. If someone can't meet you where you are, it's time to say goodbye. It's like they have a lot to say, but it's pissy, you know? It's about why you hurt them, why you're wrong, why it didn't work out, you know? Yeah, free yourself. Look at that. They're coming in right again no apology page of cups in the reverse six of pentacles in the reverse i'm not willing to put any effort or give to this but they have the eight of wands a lot to say right your advice is the eight of wands in the reverse goodbye make yourself like unaccessible block them thank you for your time and experiences <laughs> oh man <laughs> two of wands in the reverse the wheel of the wheel of fortune yeah, it's the right thing to do, okay? Like, please don't go down this road again and bring this into 2023 is what Spirit is saying. And it is specific that it's against this person, okay? Mm-hmm, there you are. The energy we're showing up in, Four of Pentacles, okay? Holding back. Spirit's like, this is where you want to hold back from. Judgment on the bottom. Six of Swords underneath. Can you truly let it go and move on? Again, I sense that there's been a break. Either you felt it emotionally with this person and we have to move away in the 3D or vice versa, okay? What you don't see coming is the world in the reverse. Oh yes, there will be a test. Once you've decided this, there will be a test. It could be this person coming in, again, trying to start up the Hierophant. Yeah, you could have been married to this person. Seven of Swords in the reverse, the Six of Swords, the Hierophant. It's trusting that this chapter truly is supposed to end that the divine knows what they're doing right that you can still call upon your faith your beliefs okay nine of wands in the reverse it's a final surrender I can't live like this anymore. I'm scared. I don't know what I'm doing going forward. I don't have a point of reference. I'm going anyway. I refuse to live the same life 70 years in a row and call that a life, okay? Your hopes and fears is the three of swords. Yeah, I'm afraid to feel the pain, but oh God, do I want to? I want to free myself, right? You have to feel it to heal it temperance in the reverse exactly you can't put this off anymore you have been living out of balance okay just trying to keep your head above water um really focused again in the 3d but your soul is longing for you longing for attention i really do get that creativity energy um connecting with that divine feminine energy within you male or female is the way to kind of heal yourself here yeah again where how do i do that it's about building a home within yourself, knowing again that you are divinely protected, okay? That the divine is always guiding you. It's showing that same blind devotion to the universe as you have whatever this situation was that took you outside of yourself, okay? And I see you doing it. The lovers, Gemini energy going forward. Tell me more. Six of Wands in the reverse, the Five of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, it's like, I don't need that. 
I don't need this to make me feel good, whether it's a person, a status, page of swords. I'm willing to learn a new way. Yes, you may be feeling inspired or motivated, maybe listening to a lot of self-help stuff. Again, there was something about therapy. Hi, I'm a spiritual life coach. Doing that if you feel drawn, right? Ace of Wands in the reverse. What ignites my passion? Exactly, the thing I've been saying this whole reading. So let's get some advice on how to close this up and then keep your eyes open because I will be doing a more in-depth video on 2023 and what that's going to bring us um, month by month and such. Okay, it's going to be fun. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> All right, tell me advice, please, spirit. What's our best course of action next, please? The temperance card. Yes, ma'ams and sirs. No shit. Sagittarius energy. Remember the divine has got you. That seems like a really beautiful place to leave off, to be honest. Connect with yourself. Connect with your higher self. Connect with your soul. Remember those who have passed on, okay, are with you, guiding you. Turn into that blind devotion. Sooner rather than later, okay? It looks like all your dreams are about to come true if you so allow it. I hope that helps you guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your year. Leave your feedback below as you please. See you on the next one.